Are the Prince Harry memes going too far? Maybe, but they are still hilarious. After the release of his tell-all memoir Spare, Harry has dominated not only the tabloids, but he's also become the butt of jokes on the internet, all thanks to the revelations in his memoir. While some people made fun of him for sharing way too much information, others said that these are all first world complaints. So let's get into it. I'm your host Bridget Shields, and here are the top 10 hilarious Prince Harry Spare memes that broke the internet. Number 10, the oversharing. Many readers were shocked at what they considered to be Harry's oversharing in his new memoir, which is something that he really seems to be guilty of. Spare features some absolutely unbelievable moments, from Harry losing his virginity to a horse-loving older woman, to Camilla turning his bedroom into her personal closet, to a detailed description of the frostbite on his genitals. But one of the main criticisms that we're hearing about is that it's unbefitting of someone of his stature. It's inappropriate and it's just plain gross. Now the internet has been flooded with memes making fun of his oversharing. Someone posted a photo of Harry and said, My brother and dad use the same Netflix account, even though they both live in different houses. I won't stay silent anymore. Another person posted a meme of someone keeping count on a whiteboard with the caption, Information about Prince Harry I've learnt against my will today. Another meme makes it seem like it was a quote taken from one of Harry's interviews, where he says, When I was a child, my father grabbed at my nose, then pulled away with his thumb between his fingers, saying, I've got your nose. I I thought I had been badly disfigured. The torment I suffered haunts me to this day. Number 9 Prince Harry Reveals One of the internet's favourite things to do after the release of Spare is to attribute statements to Prince Harry that he clearly never said. Some of them are completely absurd, but given the nature of his memoir and the edgy style that it's written in, many of these fake quotes almost sound believable. There is now a whole category for these memes called Prince Harry Reveals, where people make parodies of him based on official news headlines. Chris Murphy, a staff writer, at Vanity Fair poked fun at the controversy on Twitter and added on to the jokes. He wrote, Prince Harry reveals that he believed that Emma Stone deserved to win the Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance as Mia Dolan in Damien Chazelle's La La Land, and then made it seem as though Harry said, Isabel Huppert did her best work in Elle, but it was ultimately Emma's year. Another user tweeted, Breaking, Prince Harry reveals in autobiography that he credits American rapper Ice Spice for encouraging him through a rocky split with family. He then made it seem like Harry said, when she said, you did me dirt, but what did I do? It resonated. That was when I knew it was the last straw. Number 8, the bookstore display. There was a viral Twitter post making fun of the fact that Prince Harry launched an outright attack on his family. Someone took a photo of a hilarious window display in a UK bookstore, showing copies of his memoir placed next to another book titled How to Kill Your Family. It's safe to say that people found the photo hilarious and ironic, considering all the allegations that Harry's book has brought against the royal family his own family. In his memoir, he claimed that Prince William and Kate never expected him to start a relationship with someone like Meghan, who had a very successful career. He claimed that from the beginning, Kate didn't like the importance that was given to Meghan by the public of Britain. Kate felt overshadowed and jealous of Meghan's personality and all the media attention that she was getting around the wedding. Harry also recounted what he says was a physical attack by his brother, and it was all because of his new relationship. Describing the fight which broke out at his London home in 2019, he he claimed that William called his wife difficult, rude, and abrasive, which Harry said was just a parroting of the press narrative about her. Number 7, his first time. The memoir suggests that the media's party boy image of Prince Harry during his teen and young adult years was well deserved. Harry describes how he lost his virginity to an older woman. Quote, she liked horses, quite a lot, and treated me not unlike a young stallion. Quick ride, after which he smacked my rump and sent me off to graze. Among the many things about it that were wrong, it happened in a grassy field behind a busy pub. Yikes. Clearly, for whatever reason, Harry did not hold back from sharing the most intimate details of his life. Now the internet has taken that audio straight from the book and they've made countless memes about it. One of the most popular ones comes from a TikTok creator called Rosie Owen, who dances along to the audio in a hilarious way. The joke is pretty much trying to imagine what Harry would look like as he was narrating that part of the story. The comment section on that one TikTok was filled with people adding on to the joke. One user wrote, 50 shades of Harry, and another Another one said, Honestly, I don't think Harry got anyone to check this before publishing. Someone else commented, I don't think anyone was brave enough to tell him no, and this was a bad idea. Number 6, Elizabeth Arden Cream. In his book, Harry made readers cringe when he wrote that the smell of an Elizabeth Arden product made him feel like his mother, Princess Diana, was right there in the room while he applied it to his genitals. These two things shouldn't even be in the same sentence, let alone make it into a royal autobiography. The story goes that Harry got frostbite 
right on his groin while he was on a trip to the North Pole. He then tried to remedy the problem with the cream from Elizabeth Arden after a friend recommended that he use it on his quote todger. But he also mentioned the fact that his mom used that very same product on her lips and it reminded him of her when he used it down there. Someone posted the audio on Twitter with the caption, this book is a Freudian nightmare, which if you don't get it is a reference to Sigmund Freud who first introduced the idea of the Oedipus complex to describe the phenomenon of boys developing an unconscious infatuation with their mother. Pretty icky stuff. Another Twitter user then posted a picture of the exact same Elizabeth Arden product and called it the 8 hour todger cream. Number 5 William's Boldness In one part of the book, Harry describes the moment that he returned to the UK for their grandfather Prince Philip's funeral. He wrote, When I looked at Willie, I really looked at him, perhaps for the first time since we were little, taking in every detail. His familiar scowl, which had always been the norm in dealings with me. He also mentioned his brother's boldness, saying that it was alarming and more advanced than his own. He also thought that William's resemblance to their mother had faded. This passage sent the internet into a frenzy and people were quick to label it as petty and unnecessary. One creator by the name of Morgan Andre made a viral TikTok to explain why Harry would even include this in the book. She said Prince William had to have done something so heinous to Prince Harry for him to go and tell the world. Obviously Prince William has an issue with his hair and it probably bothers him. So for Prince Harry to go and tell everyone your hair loss is actually alarming. He must have deserved that. Someone commented under the video with siblings it's personal because 9 out of 10 times we really know each other's insecurities. So there's no other way to look at it. It was obviously intended to hurt him. Number 4 Harry's beard. Writing about his own wedding in 2018, Harry claimed that William tried to forbid him from keeping his beard for the ceremony despite the fact that the queen granted him permission. Apparently William ordered him to shave his beard off because he could not stand the thought of his younger brother having a perk that he was denied. Harry said, at one point he actually ordered me to shave. A TikTok user by the name of 627 made a viral TikTok video reacting to that passage in the book. She starts off by saying, beards are basically contour for men. So I can completely understand William having beard envy. She then posted some edited photos of Prince William with a beard and explained how good it would look on him if he could grow one. Pretty much explaining that it was very cruel for the palace to deny him facial hair at his own wedding when he was already balding. She said, you can't tell me that if they allowed this man to look like this, that he wouldn't be less of a menace. She then brings up photos of Prince Charles when he was younger and says, even his dusty dad would look better with a beard. Number 3 Family Guy When you really break down the contents of Spare, it seems like Harry added in everything he's ever thought about, even if it doesn't serve an actual purpose. In fact, in one part of the book, he compared his brother to the character Stewie Griffin. Funnily enough, William is mentioned 358 times in total, 349 of those times as Willie, and only 9 times as William. Harry discusses the fact that he was dared to shave his head as a schoolboy, and he rushed to tell his older brother about his regrettable decision. But apparently, it was a response from William that reminded Harry of Stewie Griffin, the one year old baby prodigy from Family Guy. He wrote, I recalled him sitting at his desk, bent over a book chuckling, while I stood before him, fingering the nubs on my newly bare scalp. He said, Harold, what have you done? What a question. He sounded like Stewie from Family Guy. At another point in the book, Harry wrote, I felt an inexplicable bond with Stewie, profit without honor. And of course, people made fun of that audio on TikTok. One creator named Beth McKenzie made a hilarious video with her friend, dramatizing the narration. One user commented, he felt a bond with Stewie because he speaks in a British accent and that's it. Number 2 Cashing Out Many readers were quick to joke about the amount of money that Harry must have gotten paid to write Spare. One social media user called Shane Reaction made a viral tweet saying, Fair play to Prince Harry, getting paid $20 million to share the kind of stories I tell strangers for free in the smoking area after one shot of Sambuca. You gotta love the honesty there. Another user wrote, LMAO and people expecting Prince Harry's book to spill some insane insider secrets about the royal family, but instead we all just found out his D had a severe case of frostbite. Someone else said, Prince Harry is like that one co-worker who you meet on the first day who then proceeds to overshare about everything to the point you actively try to avoid them. Like bro, I don't care about your first sexual experience or the fact that you had frostbite on your nethers. So just how much money was made from spare? Well, Harry reportedly signed a $44 million deal for four books. So interestingly enough, spare isn't even the only book expected to come from Harry and Meghan. That deal reportedly also includes a second book by Harry and a wellness guide by Meghan. But the topic of the fourth installment is still unknown. And coming in at number one, Camilla memes. In Spare, Harry recalls that he and his brother were initially resistant to the idea 
of their father marrying Camilla Parker Bowles, following their parents' divorce and the death of their mother Diana in 1997. Harry explained his initial fears were that she might be cruel to him like all the wicked stepmothers in the stories. And even though his feelings changed after meeting privately with her, he and William still don't like the idea of their father walking down the aisle with the other woman. Harry literally refers to Camilla as the other woman in his book, and he said that both he and William told Charles that they would forgive her and welcome her into the family if he promised never to marry her. He also hated the fact that his stepmother made his childhood bedroom into a dressing room after he moved out of Clarence house. So obviously both brothers detested the fact that Camilla would even attempt to replace their mother. And now of course it seems like everyone on social media has been sharing hilarious Camilla memes. One video that was posted on Twitter shows a woman who looks like her screaming at the ocean with the caption, hashtag Harry the interview. Camilla screaming at the TV tonight. Well that's everything that we have in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.